Like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below. Arrivals in Thailand are no longer required to have completed PCR testing prior to their departure from foreign countries to come here. Now confirmed in the Royal Gazette, the only testing will be on arrival as part of the Thai Pass system. Passengers are advised, however, that some airlines may still require PCR testing as part of their COVID controls and all should check with their airlines in advance. A second autopsy on drowned actress Tang Mo, who fell from a party boat on the Chow Phraya River and drowned, has been completed by experts who have sealed their reports, forwarding them only to the woman's mother. Most details will not be released to the press. However, they have confirmed some 22 wounds to the woman's legs, while she showed no other sign of major facial injury. Pathologists from the Justice Ministry will make their findings available to the police upon request. However, it's highly unlikely that the full report will ever be published. At least two men have been charged with involvement in the death, but due to mishandling of the boat, a sharp turn, and not physically causing her to die. On the Trat coastline, a Thai tourist got the needle while swimming, literally, on Thursday. It seems a needlefish, often referred to as a long tom, stabbed him in the neck. Seriously injured, he was helped to the shore and medics called, who rushed him to a local hospital. The fish, which can jump out and back into the water and is carnivorous, with long, narrow jaws and sharp teeth, has in the past inflicted fatal injuries, albeit rarely. Locals state that they've never seen the fish in the region before, and marine teams are expected to take a look today and over the weekend. Likelihood is that they were driven into the coastline during storms and will leave as the waters calm. Close to 1.4 billion bahts worth of assets were seized this week during three police raids on the homes of suspected drug kingpins in Chiang Rai. Initial checks of bank records show close to 2 billion baht being circulated, and in all, some 250 accounts have been frozen, with police expected to charge the arrestees with money laundering and tax evasion. In the south of Thailand at Song Kla, today sees the land border reopening with Malaysia. After a two-year closure due to the COVID era, the crossing will reopen, but with the standard requirements of arrivees spending time in quarantine hotels while PCR tests are done. Application on arrival for the Thai Pass will be accepted and all will need proof of vaccination. Meanwhile at home and in our own region, the province this morning reported a 24-hour figure, 1,352 cases of COVID discovered through PCR testing in a 24-hour period. In the same period, 8,302 ATK tests were failed by patients in clinics and hospitals. Of the PCR tests, Chombri reported 202, Sirachar 432, Banglamung 350 and Satahip 87. Nationally, the figure has risen again. 28,379 new cases with 23,843 recovered and 92 deaths in the same 24-hour period attributed to the virus. Construction of a floating helipad has been completed by a Thai Mesopotamian company in Sirachar, and after passing inspections, it'll be towed by tugs to the Pattaya Bay area. Once anchored opposite Soy 6 Beach Road, the helipad will be operational and served by Chopper Air by the middle of May, offering free flights for business passengers arriving in Thailand at the main airport and serving as a city link to Utapau too. This is a part of the concentrated effort to make the city a tourist and business hub. For economy class arrivees, the price for a quick flight here will be just 1,000 baht. That's less than a taxi. Trips to and from the helipad will be via a ferry to Bali High Pier, where baggage flown in by drones will already be awaiting arrivees. Chopper Air, which operates the helicopter fleet, is also advertising for trainee pilots. As election day looms for Pattaya and Bangkok, here four candidates for the mayor's office have registered ahead of voting on May the 22nd. We can expect a month or more of each promoting their own ideas over the others and the usual promise of a better future. Truth is that whomever gets the corner office will inherit numerous projects already underway or in planning stages for the city, including but not limited to the completion of the underground cabling drainage projects and, of course, the planned monorail service. 
And with the Met Office promising highs today at 32, dropping down to 24 with the promise of storms. And the reminder that today is the start of a new month, specifically April. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme.